things in life which bring me such pleasure as food. On days like today, it's autumn, it's cold, but it's sunny. I want something that will warm my heart and soul. So what do I turn to? Fudge. Now, this fudge isn't like all others. Many people will be intimidated by the idea of cooking. Oh, fudge. But no, I make it simple, easy, and most of all, satisfying. Now, I obviously can't enjoy the pleasure of cooking in my own living room. So let's move this somewhere else. Like the kitchen. Or as I like to call it, the pleasure factory. Hmm. Now you're right. Making fudge can be daunting and difficult, but really, with this recipe, it's easy and very, very satisfying. Now first, you need a bowl. To this bowl, we'll add some marshmallows. Oh, I love marshmallows. So puffy and delicious. They're so sneaky. <laughs> Next, some butter. I'd say, this much will be enough. I like to break it up with my fingers, just to feel that silky, oily texture. So nice. Mmm. Yeah. That's the stuff. Next, we'll add some water, just to lighten things up. Let's take this to the stove. We need to move the pan onto the hob and turn it to an intense and high heat. Next, some water from a recently boiled kettle. We're going to create the double boiler effect. So while this comes to a simmer, we'll place the bowl of marshmallows, butter and water on top. Oh, stirring it is so therapeutic and soothing. Just look at that butter giving way to the heat. Slowly but surely, these puffy white marshmallows will render their solidity to the intense heat. <laughs> this bowl's getting a little bit too hot, so I'll put my glove on. It's almost completely liquid now, so I'll start adding the chocolate. Just bit by bit. Stirring and stirring until you have a viscous, smooth, white gloop. Now for the last few bits of chocolate. And they say I'm not a three-hat chef. <laughs> it's become quite yellow. Well, not yellow, but the colour of white chocolate, really. Quite thick and sticky. And like before, where it was white and pure and more liquid. Now that this is all melted and smooth, I can take it off the heat. To set it, I'm going to put it into one of these great new wobbly silicon tits. I mean tins. So, I'll switch to a spatula and then I'll pour it in beautifully. Just look at the way it slides off the wooden spoon. Mm, that's for me later. Ah, let's pour this in. Yum. Oh, this is all for me, you know. I'll smooth out the top and then move it into the fridge to set up and come nice and hard. Perfect. That'll just take a few hours and then we can start eating. Well, I can start eating. Mmm.